Hi, today we're going to take a look at taking your ViewSonic G tablet and tethering it to a Droid One phone uh, using the Droid One as a wireless hotspot so you can use its 3G for internet access on your G tablet wherever you go. Uh, first a couple things is both devices will need to be rooted. If you're not sure about rooting, uh, just look it up on the internet. Uh, xda-developers.com is a great place to start. Uh, looking at the droid here, uh, once it's been rooted, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install the application. Um, the application that I installed and I'm using for this is Barnacle Wi-Fi Tether. Um, once you've got the Barnacle installed, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the settings and you're going to go ahead and set your SSID. Um, once you've got your SSID set, uh, there's one other thing that you definitely need to do and that is put the checkbox next to the skip WPA supplicant. This is definitely going to need to be done in order to connect to the G tablet. Alright, we're going to go over here to the G tablet. Uh, here we have a G tablet. It's been rooted. It's running TNT1 over top. Uh, gives us a nice interface, a lot better than the stock uh, tap and tap, which is just horrendous. Um, once you've got your G tablet up and running, you're going to need to install the Clockwork Mod Recovery because you're going to need that to install some files. Um, and the files that you're going to install, you can also get uh, xda-developers.com. That's the place where I got these files. And let me go ahead and go into the File Explorer and show you what files you're going to use. And the files you're going to need to do is, what you're going to do is boot into the Clockwork Recovery and you're going to install the WPA ad hoc signed zip. Uh, that will install the files necessary in order to get the G tablet to be able to recognize the Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Now let's go ahead and go back to our droid. And we've got everything set up. We're going to go ahead and start. and we've got our Wi-Fi started, it shows that it started and we're going to go back over to our G tablet and let's take a look, we're scanning for some Wi-Fi networks, let's see what we find here now one thing that you may have to do is you may have to go back and click on the associate on your droid to make sure that the Wi-Fi network is out there and there we go. And you'll notice it has a little asterisk next to it. Um, that's just the way that it's set. We'll go ahead and click connect. And you need to give it a minute to connect. And sometimes, like I said, you need to go back and reassociate every once in a while just to make sure that it's actually the Wi-Fi tether is actually putting out the signal. and there we go obtaining an address and we hear the little droid sound and we look over here and we see that the, it is connected to the android coming back over we see we've got a Wi-Fi signal let's go ahead and check out and see what we've got on the web and bam there's Google go ahead and go to a page and you'll notice even even on the uh, going over the 3G it's pretty darn quick so there we have it, tethering your ViewSonic G tablet to a Droid One to give you internet access everywhere.